do you find that um that people are more receptive and start to hear that um those physical issues can be tied to mental issues or outside stimuli a lot of people don't figure out that you can have a pain in your hip or your stomach or your right ear or wherever the hell it is. And it can be related to what's going on in real life around you and have zero to do with what you've been doing physically. I agree with this wholeheartedly because, you know, in Chinese medicine, they call that the emotional etiological factors, right? And, and that's very real. You know, when you, when you get uh, really tense and stressed, it starts to pull your shoulders up. And before you know it, you don't have a neck anymore, right? And, and your levator scapula muscle in here is pulling your scapula up all day. And people walk in like this. And I'm like, oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, doing that wobble walk because they can't move their arms and neck. They're just kind of, you know, wobbling into the room. Yeah, I, 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 I see what you're saying. But I, I do think that explaining that to them while I'm working on them has been very effective uh, because not only does that bring their awareness to the area I'm working on, it allows to distract them from the pain of me releasing that muscle and then allows them to also let out what they're thinking. You know, they they let out the feeling that they have. It, it's more of like a an essence to what they're saying, not so much... Um, not so much what they're actually saying, you know, 